So when you did that, and my cousin and husband were visiting, and he had a road in the FPS. A few places. I was going to be sure I thought the performance, you know, you're not going to be this thing. This is going to be simple. I think it's the second Tuesday of the month. No, I think it's the second Tuesday. Second Tuesday. Thank you. Anyway, is it in here? That might be helpful. I think it's going to be April 12th or something like that. Let's see. So we would need you to go there because we need to follow our protocol that apparently has been in existence for decades since the uh, management plan was adopted, but we didn't know it. So okay. I apologize for that. I do. Um, it does not say when that email on. If you want to give me your email address, I will confirm for you and yeah. send you an email. So. Yep. Uh, so it's tom at sixo3 endurance.com. Not that listed here, though. sixo3 endurance.com. Okay. So unless it's changed, Tom, it says Conservation Commission meets on the third Thursday of the month at 6.30. Third, third. It may have changed, so Caroline that, that will confirm. Is, yeah, I think that's changed. So I will okay. send you a confirmation email so that you know for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any anything else that you, at, from last year that that was it? There was there yeah. was complaints about that. Yeah. that I recall. Yeah. Um, so that's been addressed with uh, the only person that owns any other property down there besides the town is Mr. Burmat. Yeah. I understand. I guess you've already talked to him. And yeah. So his his brother and and wife actually run with six hundred three. So it was. It was easy to contact him, and, and he understood, and he was okay. fine with it. it. It was just the scout ma or the trail master said, "Can you please leave those up?" Um, so we did, and right. and then it became an issue. So we just went okay. back and took them down. It wasn't was an issue anymore. No. Well, like I said, 
Francis. So as soon as you hear from the or meet with the conservation commissioner, just come. They'll let us know what they said. You can come back, and if we need to sign anything, uh, you may not have to come back. It could just be us saying it's fine at a meeting, and we'll let you know too. So perfect. Yeah. May, may I point out to... something? Yeah. I just want to say something. I think Are there you was. On the conservation I am, okay. and okay. last year I just want to mention um, Lorraine Hanson, 11 Watson Lane. The reason that. Um, there was an issue, and it's apparently, while we managed the property, the people who own, who actually tell us how we have to manage it is Selt, Southeast they Land the, Trust. Do they hold the lease? Are they at the easement? The easement, <laughs> Right. And there was a question about whether... Um, certain parcels are right. Whether certain groups that um, are not nonprofit can use it. I think that was an issue that came up, but I don't recall. I don't we will address it at the conservation committee meeting, but I do know that that was we were, we heard from Selt that we. I just met with Selt on Tuesday, so I can ask her. That's that's fine. That's easy. Right. Yeah. If you want to talk with the people at Selt yeah. and let them know, but then they have to tell us, and then we go from that's there. Thank you. So Lorraine saved me for myself, so that was it. I knew there was, there was a, there was a bylaws yeah. that we weren't meeting. It, it was the self, the, the folks that were holding the easement. So that's pretty. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I put on seven races for self, so that's that's perfect. Just, I'm just saying that those. Yeah. I think that was part of the issue. So that's, if you want to talk to self and then to our com our committee. Perfect. That's great. Well, you might also get in touch with our police department to make sure you've got traffic control. Yeah, all of that. Out. Yep. I just love the, the fire department and police department's always in there. First step, though, is going to be conservation commission, because if yep. they say, or self says, no, you can't have the race, I guess it's pointless to talk to the fire and police. So, yeah. But, okay. So, you'll, we'll find out when the uh, next and meeting is and get you on the agenda. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Have a good night. Any other community input for tonight? All right. Are you here for no? Okay. No. Thank you for reminding me of why that was. I knew it was more than just garbage, but, um, okay. Moving on, then. Department head business. Fire is not here yet. All right, I don't see him. All right, highway. Come on up, George. No, why? Be here a long time. Okay, come on up, Chief. Are you going to be here for a long time, too? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to run tonight. Okay. <laughs> can, uh, can you hear everything okay, Denise? I'm sorry. I can. All right. Yeah. I'm going to try to remember to say, Denise, do you have any questions? Because I know it's hard to be on the phone, so. Okay. Okay, the first one, I have three forms here that, that needs the uh, the chair's signature for uh, Malatech to go to the police academy. The first is the application for Roman Academy. The second one is the Form A, just indicating that we've done a background check. He attests to be a citizen of the United States and all that good stuff. And likewise for uh, Form I, background investigation. Is there any objection to me signing these? No. Stamp it'd be a lot, a lot neater if they let me stamp it. True. We actually read it. Okay. Personal number 1574 to Stratford County. We received the, uh, the yearly assessment invoice from Stratford County as $5,018.61. I'll move purchase order 1574 um, to Stratford County for $5,018.61. For dispatch assessment. Second that. Is there any discussion? Denise, do you have any questions or any? No, I'm good. Okay. All set, Miles? Yep, all set. Thank you. Purchase order 1574 is removed and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Purchase order number 
1575 to Ben's uniforms. Uh, the following uh, uniform items are for new officer Malatek, a gray uniform shirt, a high gloss belt, OC case, a pair of <coughs> traffic gloves, one knit hat, and two pairs of RPD call brass for $300. All right. I'll move a purchase order 1575 to Ben's uniforms. Three hundred dollars for uh, uniforms for twenty minutes. Second, um, this is this full. Yeah, do, did we order something from last week too? We we have yes. Okay. Any other questions, Denise? No. All right, Miles, you're good. All right, all those in favor, uh, purchase order fifteen seventy five. Say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. <coughs> We're getting off pretty easy. Okay. So far. Okay, personal number 1593 to Ford. It's either going to be Ford Credit or for Pony Ford. I'm not sure which Ford at this point. Authorization for them to order a 2020 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. And the first year lease payment will be $11,993.65. The total cost of the vehicle over three years is $33,455. Uh, I'll move purchase order 1593 to Ford for $11,993.65 for the first year lease payment. I will second that. Answer my own question. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, I think, is it my question too? Is that the amount of the warrant? It's less than the warrant. Okay. Warrant. Did Denise, do you have any questions? That warrant article is for 13. Ford Interceptor, Explorer, what is that? The, the Explorer, the same thing we have now. It's an Explorer? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So there's no issues about transferring cage and all that? Then. Uh, some of it will be transferred and some of it can't. So. Okay. Alrighty, any other questions? No. Miles? No. Oh, Alright. Good. Purchase order 1593. We're moving second. Did all those in favor say aye? Aye. aye. Opposed? Denise has not had an opportunity to have a conversation with us yet, so we were hoping that we would be able to uh, have that conversation and then, um, and then ask you all to so, But we haven't been together as a group yet to talk about it, so that's fine. That's all that I have to do. Anything for me? We're good. Denise, anything? Yeah, I have one question. Um, okay. All right, well, you got out quick, I guess, then, like you want. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. George, come on up. George passed because he had a lot of stuff to discuss with us, Denise, so. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Relax, it's easy. Oh, all right. I don't know if you want to do it uh, individually or separately. There's a uh, power saw and a power broom that we want to purchase from Brentwood Machine and Power Equipment. Uh, not $100 off each unit. For are they separate warrant articles? Or are they, I mean, no, um, separate. Um, I do equipment. I meant uh, separate uh, peer purchase orders? Or no, I did one PO. Then we'll do them together. Okay. Uh, PO number 1606 out of the equipment fund for Brentwood Power Equipment for one Echo 12 inch chainsaw, <coughs> smaller saw to handle, you know, to uh, trim it off of them uh, instead of them. And that's for $331.49, along with an Echo Power Head and Paddle Broom, which is a power broom, for $526.98 for a total of $858.47. Sorry, I'll move purchase order 1606 to Brentwood Power Equipment uh, for $858.47 for um, a chainsaw and a power broom. I will second it. I'm gonna Okay, I'll let other people ask questions first and I'll ask my questions. I know what a chainsaw does. But... <laughs> Denise, do you I have know what a power broom is. Ah, thank goodness. Denise asked it and I didn't have to. What are the power uh -huh. broom do for us? See, power broom is uh, 
use it in, when we do the set, we push the sidewalks and stuff off instead of just using a backpack blower. I mean, we uh -huh. want the backpack blower. When the, and then when the sand is in on the grass and stuff, it's easy to blow, push the sand out of the grass after it's, you know, after winters and stuff like that. Uh -huh. On all the locations that we have, like the parks and stuff. Get the sand and stuff off. We've got uh, right. a power boom, so we use a lot of times without it. Instead of hand. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm almost there. So explain, you know what, I might be good. Excuse me for a moment. The other thing I'm about break a rule you before on. we go too far with the power from that, power head for that, we can add a uh, power uh, trim saw. We have a lot of options on that same power head. The so power head is a separate unit, but it's part of the, to get the broom, you can have the power head. So you can add attachment, other attachments to the head of that? If we decide to go further with it, yes. Oh, okay. Was this one of the pieces of equipment that was in your It was one that we talked budget. about. Uh, I'm going to hold off on purchasing the paint machine this year because uh, some of the housing authority has let us, we stored this this winter and we can use it again this year until they need it. They, they don't have much use for it right now, so we can use it. So, so during the whole budget process there was a list of things. Yeah, that's, that's, this that's, is, that's okay. one of the things that we've talked about. Right? It was, okay. Well. So I, I'm trying to I look at what it looks like. It, I don't know. I think it's in the same place. So we had actually, we had talked about one of the items. And okay. It's a little bit of a power rake. Power rake. Okay. Yeah. So it's, okay. No, it's all right. Yeah, it's a rubber panel wheel. We're on the end of a, like a weed whacker. Okay. And it's helpful. But then you get, you can add uh, hedge trimmers or uh, okay. uh, uh, tree, uh, uh, so it won't just be a power broom. It can, uh, the if we have to buy the other options. I understand that, but it could yeah. be used for. Oh yeah, it's used for several items. Already, you asked for prices on. Well, we haven't gotten this far yet, George. Hold on. Denise, do you have any other questions? No, I'm not there. Miles. Nope. Good. So it was one of the items you had budgeted for. All right. Purchase order sixteen oh six has been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye.
the park if there isn't one there, so that's already three. What's in the sign? Uh, what's in the sign account for this year? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's all coming out of the sign budget, George. We're gonna use the sign budget. For, we're gonna use the sign budget for signs. It's monumental change in this town, George. It usually gets used for everything but signs. At least, uh, maybe not get the sign you want, George. But let's see. I gotta get a few stops on. Uh, no, I know. So we're not looking at uh, how much did you say they were? Fifty dollars? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, I mean, when you call, if you buy five more than twenty-five, then if we need twelve, then they're nineteen. So. Well, I would say we probably need at least five. But I haven't yeah. got the time post price yet. That's so. twelve million dollars. Oh, and you need post to uh, of course. Twenty-five. Oh, yeah. I have a few posts. Can we not as, uh, fix them to the post that where there's other signs already? Or we can. Is that Certain not a situations? A good thing. Anywhere there, yeah. the signs are located, there's no parking sign or something like that. <coughs> Put it underneath it. That might make sense. All right, so why don't we do this? We don't need to order them tonight. Or no, tomorrow. no, no, I just brought it up. So, no, no, I'm glad you said thank you. So, what I would suggest is that we 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 look around town, and it doesn't have to be just a village either. There's other streets that I've yeah, seen people complaining about on so. Facebook. So, but that, that, I mean, that's what we're looking at. If that's what you want, we can word it differently. We can, you know, make, make them anyway. Sure. I mean, if that passes muster with um, EPA for the um, MS4, it might be a good thing to have that, that wording. What we can do, Denise, I can't do it. I can't do my phone. I guess I can take a picture and, and text it to you. But um, I can't. Uh, okay. I can't because I, I had to change my password for my phone I, for work today. I haven't a clue what I changed it, so I didn't write it down, so I can't use my phone. It, it is in the email if you search your I emails can't. from George. No, but if she searches her oh. emails from George. There's an email from George apparently with it in there, so I apologize, George, for not seeing it. But I, I think there was one in there. If not, I can send it to all. Okay. All right. What I was going to suggest is we can look around town over yeah. the next week or so and make, make a list of where we think there should be signs where there aren't already. Um, and then we can get back and we can say how many we're, we really need. If we don't need five, we don't order five. So, and we could look and see if it doesn't make sense for. Perhaps it might make more sense to come out of like animal control or something. I don't know. We'll look and see. All right. What else do we have, George? Oh, I think, okay. Any other questions about dog signs? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Uh, we brought up at our uh, lost prevention uh, during the last meeting. Yeah. About. Possibly replacing lights to save money for the, the town. Right. Well, I had a survey done from a, uh, energy management consultants okay. uh, last fall yep. at our building, and he had apparently done it consultant uh, and checked all the buildings in town. At one one of the time, I think he did, right? Right. The name uh, is familiar. There was a program out there that this could be paid for through our electric bill, no cost out of pocket. Uh, and after a program of either two to three year payback yeah. on your on your electric bill, and they'll replace all the lights, the LED lighting in all the town buildings. Okay. He's want, he's willing to come in and explain this, the, the program. Okay. Him and one of the guys from public service. Okay. Uh, he just wants a night availability. He needs one more price for the power from the fire station. And he's going to look at that building. That's the only building they have a question. They may not because they don't use quite enough power. Okay. Oh, and that's replaced. Yeah, yeah. So is the idea, I mean, we'll have the presentation from them, but is the idea that they pay for the, they come into all the, the, all the replacement costs? That's right, everything. And our bill doesn't change? So right. you would you would see immediate yeah. reduction in, in energy costs because right. they're, they're... It's paid for by the savings of the, right. the energy. But we don't... We don't Realize the savings until like the first two or three years are right. over, and that pays for the <coughs> yeah. right. He okay. says out of uh, the state of New Hampshire, there's probably three towns that didn't opt into it. And I'm guessing we're one of them. We <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it, that has been approved. That has it had the offer. Apparently, it wasn't always with Eversource paying. It wasn't. They came in before. I remember this name. And they paid, it was like a loan, wasn't it? Right. And we it weren't guaranteed the money, I guess, was like spent in like in the first like week or something. <coughs> last something. week. So, and I met with them again last week. Right. There's no money out of pocket. It's done through the electric bills. 
and what you're saving money. Right. Well, I mean, if you could save, if you could save money, I mean, that would be great overall. I mean, even if we don't, we're going to spend the same amount of money on electricity over the next two or three years. Uh, we, we'll wait for their presentation, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I can call him and you know, I'll, as soon as I get to, I buy can't him. tell you when. We don't have. Um, Reset my phone because I couldn't do that. Oh, I can't. Do that. I'd lose everything. Yep, I lost everything. I can't do that. <laughs> um, uh, he said he could come any Monday night if he wanted. You know, okay. we can have him come in earlier or whatever. You know, I don't know how long the presentation is. It shouldn't be. I no, know. I'd have him just come in the regular meeting and tell him <coughs> it's 15 minutes to do a presentation, and then I, I don't think it'll be that. You know, Hopefully, if that they can't do it within 15 minutes, then. Can I ask a favor? Of course, Denise. Yeah. Now there is ten thousand in new uh, 
COVID. COVID fund, right? I believe COVID that's what it was. COVID's not that expensive, but we're doing it myself, so. But we have other things that we have to look at in town, like some other COVID, so that's right. the only concern I have. So typically with the money, and the, well, it doesn't have to be, but the, the COVID fund was typically for, yeah, 10000 10, it was for a larger project, but when it started, as long as it's a culvert. I'm waiting, to call, I'm waiting to call back from Aaron. He's checking okay. to see if we need permits just to shore up that bank and down by the big culvert. Oh, by the right. I had a guy look at it last week, and he's going to have me some numbers. Okay. And hopefully we can do all this at one project. Uh-huh. But both projects, at Pike's price, are under the 350000 That's why. Yeah, we have. So we could, we could do both then. Right. But then, then you're taking away from... You know, money we're going to need to fix some of the other things, like the culprits and ditching. Okay. So that's what I'm concerned about more than anything. Until we okay. get, you know, until we, I figure out exactly what we need for culprits. And so let's talk about not finishing heritage for a moment, just so I understand. There's a um, binder code down now. On that new section. Just on the new and, section. And all they're going to do over there is shim it over there. He said because it's not a heavy traffic road, the right. road and it's not right. that bad of shape. They can shim it over there. He's talking about putting in. Uh, well, actually, not on that project. He said, that's a shimmer overlay, and that's for for the, for the rest of for the rest of heritage and and that finishes stuff. that project. Okay. And that's in, and he had a price of uh, he had he put it in at the one thirty three, but he said we can deduct the gravel. Uh, them doing the gravel work like we did on the shoulders, we right. will myself yeah. and the police duties we handled the flagging, so that takes out that right. takes out fifteen five. Right. We could do that project for about 121. Okay. And then doing it, the uh, slide over was 214. Mm. Uh, 219, 5.5. So a total of 341, 250 for both projects. Okay. But that's not counting, you know, figuring out what it's going to cost. Because we, to do all the ditch work that we have to do down there, it's better off to rent a machine for, you know, it's $3,200 for a month to rent this, uh, and that's a bit, the small excavator, which is not a bad price. But uh, the backhoe would be there for three months just trying to do it. And they want to try to get these, these prices are good to get started. They want to get work started early, and we can get, be done with it by June. Mm -hmm. Like last year, trying to get the roads done early because they're looking for work. Right. And our money's already there. Right. And I'm waiting on one more price on the, uh, okay. on the road to see if it's any better. Okay. I mean, I had Brock's look at it, and then Brock's is higher. Right. Continental has not come back with a price, and they probably don't want to deal with just a small amount of work. And then I think it's going to be a little bit. But these spots going to look at it this week, and I don't know if they're going to be you know, opposed to that. But, I mean, it's, it's worth, I think it's worth having some pricing for sure. Yeah. So they're going to come in, and we're going to look at it. Assess those two projects on Wednesday and okay. we'll some numbers. So I, I, I just wanted to see where I was at. Sure. Uh, but my thought would be the uh, Sligo Road. It's it's a it's disastrous condition. I, I just drove down it to get here, and it's yeah, it's I bad. Mean, so that's I a was, full I was reclamation. That it, I mean that that's it, it, a full reclamation, adding gravel, the whole nine yards. And they're putting two and a half inch of base on that road, not more, not, not just a normal two. Okay. Hope so. All right. So we'll have more information for next week. Right. Then. Uh, hopefully, have more for next week, and right. uh, I'll that. try to get, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure out each culvert, the price what it would cost us to put the culverts in. It. Right. I got pricing on culverts. Uh, on the different sides. So we don't run any risk then, George, I mean, just the, the binder on that new section. We don't run any risk of it going another year without having the... Um, the top oh, they said, that they, they, just like with John, they said, you know, if you do the second coat within two to three years, yeah, you should be fine. And okay. Woods Run has not moved, and it hasn't moved across the, uh, up by you, it hasn't moved at all. And they were, you know, they were happy to see that, that state right, that right. it was. Um, I mean, yeah, I know that wasn't the original plan, was to, to finish these other right, projects. Right, right, right. It's like a worry. It's been so bad the last year and a half. Right. I've been here. So, when, so we'll, we'll think about it for another week. We'll get more information next week. But this, um, this spring, early summer, I'd like to look at the road plan again and make revisions so we're ready for, um, for uh, budget season. Right. I mean, we're 
we're going to definitely have to look at, uh, if we don't, that we definitely have to look at uh, top coating with running and stuff next year, and we could do Sligo at the same time while everything's in one location. All right. And, and those, will, those, those projects will be done if, if we get everything done this year. We'll be that far ahead. Can I have a point of clarification? Of course. Okay, so was there a warrant article, I'm sorry, I don't remember, uh, identifying the roads that were going to be done that was voted on this in March? No. It was not a warrant article. It wasn't a warrant article? It was in the operating saving? budget. It's in the operating budget now. Okay, but there wasn't a warrant article? And yeah. nothing identified what roads we were going to do when we proposed to our we we mm -hmm. did discuss at the deliberative session, I think, mm -hmm. as part of the budget, as what roads we were hoping to accomplish, what we were hoping to accomplish with the budget that we were asking to be approved. Yes, that is true. Okay. It's also my concern, so I'm a little sheepish I because I live in front of part of the road that was done, mm -hmm. and I did recuse myself from. I didn't live there then, but so, but um. Um, yeah, so we've we got some things to think about. We've got some things to think about, Denise, I think, before yeah, we make I a decision. I know so. it's terrible, but, you know, yes. also if we committed to doing something. I agree, yeah. But there's always, I mean, we always have the, the right to change our plan, but yeah. there's always that concern. But if what George is saying, we may be able to do both. I mean, which would be incredible if we could get both of those things accomplished this year. But well, I'm looking to see how much we have in the gravel budget at the moment in these forms. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Miles is going to find it before I do. It's a race. It's a race. A race to the bottom. Let's see. No, let's not. Line 192. I think we're finding every form. Yeah, that's gravel. 6500 $6,500, George. A lot of sand and gravel. Maybe not. Maybe it's <laughs> not actually. But. All right, so something to think about. Okay. Is um, the the chip coating that it talks us that about? Would, that would uh, not work on any of our projects this year, but we have to talk about that on the, the Foundry Street, the Bear Road, and stuff like that. That's a preventive maintenance. Oh, okay. It was, we were, I was hoping that there were some roads in town. He said the roads are so beyond the chip coating and chip sealing mm -hmm. to save them. Uh -huh. So he decided, you know, but he did say that we want to look at those other roads that have been paved in the last two or three years, four years, but it's a preventive maintenance thing more than anything. So it's not a final coat? You wouldn't use it as a... You can't as use a, it as a top coat. Oh, okay. It, I, mean, I thought said, that's what I heard. Well, that's... He, if the road base was in good enough shape, oh, okay. you know, you still want to be putting an inch and a half cut. The problem is is they reduced a lot of it to an inch when they were doing top coating before, and that's why this delamination problem has been happening, because they're putting it down as an inch, but by the time you roll it, it's down to about a half, three quarters of an inch, and then if you roll it isn't perfect, some places less than that, and that's where your delamination starts. Mm -hmm. And that's happening everywhere, and that's why they're going back to bringing it up to an inch and a half. They're recommending an inch and a half your top coats and stuff now, at least get the full inch. And it's a process that they change quite often, I think. <laughs> yeah. Depends who you talk to and costs and cost. <laughs> asphalt so is driven in this town is driven by cost. So. Well, no, even your liquid asphalt is. I mean, it goes up considerably. I just know that we were advised by the former road agent to be thicker, and we said, "Well, we appreciate your expertise, but we're saying we're going down a half an inch." I think at one more, was it Foundry? Was it? I think. Was um, it Bayer? Yeah, right, it's it's Bayer. Kind of because it, it was just it was a significant cost difference. And it was, we wanted to be able to get it done. So, so I guess we'll say mea culpa. But yeah, I know you guys want to get ready I mean, with the roads, and I'm wanting to get planned out too. So, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I get that one more pricing to come back. Okay. And then, so uh, wait till next week, and we'll see where we're at. I guess, but yeah. so we have some thinking to do then. Yeah. Right. Can I ask one more question? Of course. I was just going to ask if you had any more questions. Yeah, it came right back. 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 Yeah, it came right back.
Yeah. General Sullivan smoothed out. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I drive around a lot. It's frost. It was frost. No. Yeah. We got one at the of No, we don't. We know we have to fix that as yeah. well. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. We still get behind the Legion tour and a couple of and, there, and there's several other projects too, Denise, that um, we haven't really talked about tonight. Um, okay. George had just mentioned briefly the um, the culvert dam fiasco behind the Legion. Um, yeah. The dam, maybe not so much with the culvert. We may have to deal with. We will have to deal with it somehow. Um, so there's a lot of other little projects that add up. So it, right. what he's suggesting may not be possible, or maybe okay. maybe we do say Heritage waits another year for its final coat, and we we do the other two. I mean, I don't, I, we haven't, I don't know yet. We, I think we need to hear the final numbers from the other company, and we we, we think about it some more, but. Okay. I am I am um, cognizant of the fact that we had said that we were hoping to do complete heritage and woods run this year. So yeah. I also am cognizant of the fact that priorities shift, and that's mm -hmm. what why we sit here every Monday night or almost every Monday night to talk about them. So you know. Okay. I mean, I think that Chris did not break down Sligo Road. He just did the full length. Now you have them split it back to where we want to at Woods Run and go up the hill and see where we get. To. Right. I mean, that, that, that might be... And then get have it in that lot done. Yeah. That might be a way to go to. I don't... That may change the cost of the whole... Right. Of know. course. Right. Yeah. And that makes sense. Well, if you give us the options so we can see right. both ways, yep. that would be helpful. So we, we still have the, the final code on Woods Run to do, right? And was that included with the Sligo Road work? No, that was that was going to put that off another year or two? Right, that would be put off. I did get price for Brock's on doing that, and I, but right. then we started thinking that, that Sligo is so deteriorated that it really is. it's costing us. We, oh, I mean, we can't keep up with it in one of the time. It's just it's gravel. Imagine. Yeah. All right, well, well. But uh, I wanted to bring those ideas. I appreciate and, it. Uh, Take it all under advisement. Uh, we can go in further with trying to get some other looks at it. Okay. Chris will be able to do everything without going. Uh, he was supposed to actually break it down originally. Uh, I think he just got it today. He just got to give us some numbers. All right. Well, I appreciate that. I'll have him break, break If it he down. can break it down further, it might be helpful to us. It will be helpful to us, actually, I think. Yep. Yeah. So. Anything else for us? Or I don't, do we have anything? No, we're running for George. All right. Well, thank you. You ready for the big snowstorm on yeah. Tuesday or Wednesday? It is April Fool's Day. It's it supposed to be. No, no I, I can't open my phone. I, I can't, but yeah, it's supposed to be a I high of 57 in snow. Yeah. I don't know when in the middle of the night, probably. But. They said it was going to be cold yeah. enough in the morning, and this storm right. that's coming up the coast. Who knows? Depends if it comes in closer or not. Who knows? I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. You'll be ready, I know. All right, any other questions for George? We're not going to be pushing no. stuff back with a wing. We won't have any sides of the road left. <laughs> All right, thanks, George. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, town administration. So um, after the, 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 the um, election, the, the, the town meeting results via the election, the budget was adopted, and the next one says operating budget. Are we going with the... Um, uh, budget committee's recommended um, uh, allocations, or are we following our, our original plan? Although it can't only be our original plan because the bottom line is the difference of, I think it's $2,600. So. But we can talk about uh, our priorities for um, spending priorities for the next uh, several months. Um, this will be, we have salaries, <coughs> we have uh, the salary request. Obviously, from the police, we haven't talked about that as a group yet. Um, we have uh, the fire department uh, original original request um, versus what the budget committee had been suggesting. What am I forgetting, Caroline? Well, those are the two big ones, right? Those are the two big ones. Okay. Um, I know that we had um, um, we had anticipated, um, and we have budgeted because we have to really. Um, for um, uh, higher rates of usage, not usage, higher um, uh, types of plans for our insurance that um, may or may not actually happen now. So 
um, given uh, different employees now um, and their needs. Uh, so there may be money that can be moved around there. So it, it may uh, all be very moot what we're talking about. But so there may be enough money to not have to worry about it this year. But um, we do have to decide how we want to move forward because I know like the fire department's in a in a pay new pay period, right? Pay quarter. Um, so they need to know what how what formula or whatever they're supposed to be using. So in the police, clearly, they uh, we need to come to a reconciliation there as well. So. Um, Miles, you had, um, is this your spreadsheet? Yes. Or this box? So, Denise, do you have, uh, do you want to talk with us tonight? With Denise on the phone? Do you, Denise, do you have Miles' spreadsheet that he worked on? I did. I got three the other people in the meeting. Okay. Okay. Now, I have not, so I'm going to go. So, what I did was, <coughs> I took the spreadsheet that Bob gave us, um, or took the, the numbers that Bob gave us, um, so this this block in the middle that says as proposed by the police chief. Um, Originally, correct? Yep. Yep, thank you. Uh, well, I don't know what you mean by originally. So two or three weeks ago. Well, well, Bob presented two different plans. That's the original, right? Say that again, Denise, sorry. Well, what you're talking about is what was taken to the ballot. Right. Well, that that was that's his second plan. The budget that he had. That yes, that's the. So he he presented a budget to the select board. And, and budget committee. And no, and then he presented a different plan to the budget yeah. committee. Okay. So. But it's not what he gave you last week as a proposal. That's something different. The bottom line, I believe, is the same, but he's he's now config reconfigured how or has told us how he would like to break that down. And I don't have that spreadsheet. Maybe I still do. Um, that spreadsheet in front of me. I don't remember. It's probably in the other room. It's not the same. It's a lot more money than what he's proposing now. That, that, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's right here. Ah. Let's see. You may be right, Denise. Let me just pull it out here. Let's see. So, yeah. All right, so full-time salaries um, in the approved budget was $262,081, All right, yes. and that's 2019 proposed appropriation and in his in um, I just lost it now. Um, in um, the budget that he is proposing um, is it this one? So it's this it's one. This one, or that one? That's so 20. this is though if it is though we're a full year, like everyone out of full year. Right. And this is this is what it is because not everyone's getting paid. So it's two forty nine 61 and 70 cents. Let's see here. Okay. So it's, it's his proposal is less than what um, less than what he went to the uh, budget committee with, but more than what he came to us with. Where are you seeing 249? It's in his. Oh, Total expenditures for 2019, but it's not for a full this year. This is so. incorrect because Melatech wouldn't get 42 because he's not being paid until April. But here or there. So that, okay, so that's yeah, that's the, the pay rates the reflect the the larger budget amount. Okay. Interesting. All right. And. So that's what he has proposed, is proposing now, and his um, his increase that he's asking for. He's not asking for a percentage. Too. He's now asking for an increase as well, Denise. I don't know if you if you yeah. saw that. Okay, he did not ask well, for that. Well, he's asking us to do something. He's not proposing something. Right. What I'm saying, well, he's asking for a raise that he didn't ask for. 
that when we were working on the budget. Percentage raise like everyone else, and no. then he's asking for a something additional. Right. Bump up, yes. Right. Um, so right, we had budgeted for the two percent, <coughs> like every other employee, I believe, right? For the it's not separate yeah, anymore. So. So they budgeted 53, and what do we have, uh, let's see, we've got to find where these, I don't think he's not, he's not listed on here. Um, where is it? It has its hourly rate. Right. He's not on Miles Street. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't put it oh, on. Okay. Well, we can, we can handle separately, then it's not on yours. Sorry. It's line 110. Yeah, no, I have that here. Okay. So it's um, the proposed appropriate, the approved appropriation via the town election is 53 321. And what is the, but he's not currently, he's only allowed to work, what, what is it, 30, 30, 30 hours now? Uh, legislature? So it's a two percent of this existing salary. Right. Okay. That's what was approved. Okay. And that's reflected in this here. Correct. Okay. So I guess my question is he's not actually getting paid fifty three three twenty one mm -hmm. or even the because it's yes, he is. he's not actually drawing the entire line down. It's, he never does. Right, no, it's because point. it's drawn from a good amount is taken from the contract services line. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, do you want to walk us through your proposal, Miles, and then we can? Um. Sure. So, if you like, if you look at the, the the last block, um, I didn't do anything with the lieutenant. But, uh, I kept the same. Hancock also um, kept the same. Um, he had. One of them is, wants to make the handcuff. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, the other three officers, he's asking for five point one percent raise. Increase. Yeah. Um, I think that's aggressive. Um, I mean, the the two new ones we just hired. I just put two percent on there, um, so he had he had like a certain point in time that he had like partway through the year he was planning to make these adjustments. So I kind of just went with that, correct? Um, but with three, two, and two, not five point one. Okay. Right. Okay. So the the bottom line is not that much different. His two forty. Versus, I mean, it's really only like fifteen hundred dollars difference, but on a full year basis, that number comes out to the two fifty seven. It's a lot closer to the, the number that the select board had budgeted, and then allows us room next year if we end up with a default budget to offer some sort of a raise. Okay. Yeah. Can I give you my two cents for it? Of course. Um, what a process here. If, if he wanted to give the jump, or even himself, um, and, um, a jump in pay, that should have been done through the budget cycle. We're, we're, we're really out of process of giving more than, um, than what was supposed or I don't know. I just think that we're going to set a precedent here. And ideally, I know that his proposal was also, and I don't see it on Miles, but you only did the full time in Miles? Yes. Yeah, I don't think okay, because he was also looking for a big jump in pay on the um, part timers. Right? Right. And, you know, there, there, was, there, was, some, there was some significant increases. And I just think that we, I asked him about the specials on the part timers at budget, and he said that they they don't um, work enough that they would be getting pay increases. And now we're seeing a two dollar pay increase for recommendation from him. I think it was close to two dollars. Three 
three dollars actually. Yeah, yeah. So it's like we're, we're under the process, and we need to do it at budget time, and have it go through the budget committee, and have it go through public hearings, and have people really share this. I'm not opposed to paying our police officers more money. It's like you think we're on the low end of the scale. I just want it done into the right process. And also, my major concern is if we do give them a bump in pay that isn't what is in the budget line. It's hard. It was really hard to figure. Like um, these percentages are probably more like one and a half or one. It, if if you know what I mean. So because of where we are on the, on the count. Yeah. There. So if we say three percent and it's all retro three percent. So the one of the guys hasn't even started working yet. We're, we're giving him a raise. Um, <laughs> um, right. So. I So I think we need to be careful about what we how we say three percent. I think percentage over the existing pay rate would be more informative than what the percentage of the open annual amount for for exactly that reason because it's not annualized for this year. So I, I think conceptually to compare apples to apples, it would be helpful to to talk about the percentages over existing rates rather than existing annual salaries because not everybody's getting the increase for the whole year. Right. Right. I, I'm fine with 
giving them their 30 percent as well. So if we, if we do it, I, I do share concerns though um, with awarding a three percent raise to someone who hasn't started yet. So, so three percent at, at these dates that he's prescribed on the on the far left. I mean, I, I don't. Yeah. These, oh, I'm not looking at his. I'm looking at mine. Yeah, those are the, are they the same? The, I thought that one. They are the, yeah. yeah. I think they're the same, right? Yep. Oh, I don't know. I know it's a wide spreadsheet. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm, it is, I'm sorry, you're looking at it on a screen. I'm sorry. That's what I have the paper in front of me. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't for oh, I see. Gotcha. All right. What I'm saying is we can't do it for the, well, we can do it whatever we want, but um, doing it for the whole year has a much larger impact. Um, on the, the full amount. Mm -hmm. But he wanted it, um, he's not suggesting retroactive for the entire year though, right? For everybody? He's not, no. So. I don't think that's necessarily intentional. Uh, no. Yeah, look at his letter. He's got on there. He's got some of it. I, I remember, um, that he's got certain dates for certain p positions. Yep. Um, but for the other people um, who are not new, I'm not sure that he doesn't intend for, you know, one of those is a position change, but, but the one that's not, I'm not sure that there's not retro in this. I bet he's back on January 1. That's what I would think. That's not yeah, clear, I would think though. so as well. Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't think that he... I think that's something that you just don't even... Think you have to ask because we've always gone back to January first, right? Yes. Yeah. I would agree with that. I'm just, but I'm looking at his yeah. his proposal, and that's not clear. So. Mm -hmm. It might have been a miss mm -hmm. on his part. Right. Well. All right. So what we should do then, as I would suggest, is that we recalculate for um, for. Are, let's see, one, two, three, four, four officers, and then we need to decide about the fifth that it hasn't started yet. Uh, well, I just signed his papers tonight. Um, are we, so for the lieutenant, the soon to be sergeant, and the two patrol officers, a 3% that was agreed to, that was awarded by the budget committee um, through their process and, and endorsed by the voters. Uh, it seems to make sense um, to give them that. Um, so we need to recalculate what that means back to January, retroactive January 1, to be fair to them. I don't think it's fair to start today. Yeah, I mean, some of them. Then it should be consistent. August. Yeah, I know. It should be consistent for all of them, not just. <laughs> well, is it because they're new that he's not going to start that? And, you know, for six months. Like, like maybe that part, I, I think that might be, since he added specific dates, I think that's probably intentional. I think oh, it was it's just an oversight intentional. that, you know, the other positions that have been long standing, that he didn't include that. Oh, well, we can have him back on, um, I think that, we weren't prepared to talk about it tonight because we haven't, as a group, talked about it. So right. we can have him back on, um, on uh, Monday next week and we can get some more definitive answers from him. But um, I, mean, I think it's clear that we, that we uh, conceptually agree that it should be retroactive to January 1 for the, for the officers. Right? We're not going to make them start April 1st. We're going to give them back there. Are we going to yep. do that? I mean, yep. Yeah, I yep. mean, yeah, but you have like Brooks that didn't start until 2-4, right? Right, right. right. So he's not going to go back in January 1. No, not at all. Yeah. Right. And that right. makes sense. That no, makes sense. You're only talking about the, the, uh, so is it just Brooks then? The so it really is just Brooks. Hand, uh, okay, so, okay, I see what you're saying now. I got you now. All right. All right, now that makes a little more sense, actually. Thank you, Denise, mm -hmm. for that clarity. That makes a lot more sense, actually. If you didn't work it, why would you give him a raise back to the way you didn't work it? Right. Uh, well, I always, I always add up exact hours that have been worked since they are hourly employees. They right. get, you know, retro pay is exactly 
the hours you've worked times you work. the difference yeah. in pay, right. and there's overtime and there's detail. It's three different right. pay rates. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, can we figure that out then for next week? What it will mean for these four, the top four, yes. and then. Yep. Yeah, I'll update this and send it out. Awesome. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other, Denise, do you have any other uh, questions or thoughts on this? No. All right, Miles, thank you for, for putting this together. You're welcome. Maybe more confusing than I looked when I came in, but I appreciate your efforts. <laughs> well, it's not your fault. It, it was a complex exercise. Yeah, for sure. Especially because they were split at different points. And so I had to calculate the hours. Right, so I have to, I'm going to put that in the middle so I know where that is. Alrighty then, let's move on to other things. Alright, so we never answered our question though. <laughs> are we going with, um, are we going with what the, the budget committee suggested for, the bottom line is the bottom line. And, and it's a $2,600 difference between what we had originally put, uh, suggested and what they had suggested. Um, I mean, I know I would personally like to see a hybrid of, um, of, of things that they had suggested and things that we had suggested and see if we can um, reconfigure some of the lines and make them work. Um, personally, I'd like to, to get the police to 3% and see what we can do for the fire department as well um, within the existing budget. Um, and if you are all in agreement, uh, seeing if our administrator can make some suggested changes and bring that back to us for next week so we can decide whether or not we're going to be able to move forward with the Absolutely. heaven writing. I mean, yep. That, that worked for Denise, did that work for you? Yep. So a hybrid approach? All right. No, uh, to muddle things more then. We don't, we're not going with one or the other. We're, we're creating our own path. So. All right. Uh, budget committee secretary position. I don't see anyone beating down the doors. We had two people apply. We offered the job to someone. That person then never showed up for anything, um, including her to fill out her paperwork. So I'm, I'm assuming she doesn't want the job anymore, right? Is that a safe oh, assessment? Oh, oh, it's no. Um, I, I would think so. It's also safe to say that I, I would want somebody who would be going to show up, showing up at meetings. Right. Too, so. And what about the other the runner up? I've not heard back, so I think we're reposting. If that's all right. Is everyone okay with reposting this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll let the members know on, I'll let the members know, I guess, on Wednesday that um, they are still secretary -less. All right, a tree at the fire station. From what I understand, um, uh, Mrs. Aikman, who would, it was donated trees in the past, has a location uh, on the fire prop, fire station grounds by, um, by um, the, the monument that's there to the right of the station, if you're looking at the doors. It, um, I guess she's talked. She's talked to Chief Rutherford about this. I talked to the chief. You talked to the chief, and, and he's, he's okay with this. Happy to have it. All right. So apparently, we. He, he, but Mark feels it's because it's town property. It's not up to him. It's up to the select board. And he's right. Uh, do we have any? I have a couple of concerns, but do we have any objections? And I have no objections to the, tree, to the donation of the tree. No. no. Okay. So my concerns are, it's close to the power lines. So if we're going to allow. I think they're close to the power lines there. If we're going to allow her to plant a tree, we'd use the same caveat we've used in the past, or past boards have used, that it needs to be of a, a variety that won't interfere with the power lines. And, and she's well versed in what public service, whatever they're called, an Eversource, uh, suggests for tree plantings near power lines. They have a list of like four or five trees, mm -hmm. right? And she has in the past um, gone with those guidelines and planted those types of trees okay. by the power lines. Yeah. So I can't imagine it would be an issue for her, but. I say thank you to her for for planting a tree, I guess. So we're okay with granting her permission? Yes. Denise, are you okay yep. with that? All right. Yep. All right, so you'll let her know? I will, thank you. All right. Bookkeeper admin assistant job description is in front of us. This was a position that was included in the budget that was adopted by the folks back in March. So. So you didn't have this ahead of time to look over it, no. and you're... Um, Welcome to have it for a week. I just wanted you to have it in writing and 
have something to work with. Right. Do folks want to take it up now, or do they want to wait to process it? I haven't had a chance to read it at all, so. I would. I haven't either, so I'd like a week. But yeah. I figured folks really were ready to go. We go, but all right. So we will table that for next week then. Yeah. Hydro FERC license. So uh, we all received an email. Um, the nice people at <laughs> I forgot their name. Uh, the, the folks that we that lease our our, our our Green Mountain. Is that what is it called now? It's Green Mountain. Green Mountain now. It used to be E N L, right? I want yes. To, okay. I remember their old name. So Green Mountain Power has been handling the relicensure uh, with uh, the Federal Energy um, Regulatory Commission. Right, FERC. Yes. There you go. Um, on our behalf, which is great because it would cost us a lot of money and, and labor and um, uh, legal hours uh, to do this licensing, um, they have come up with um, some uh, reviews of um, eel population, right? Um, some of the fish, aquatic species. Anyway, they've done all the required tests that the, that the, the, the federal agency requires of them. Uh, and they have now presented this in draft form to the select board. It is um, my recommendation that we forward it on to the Stormwater Committee and the Conservation Commission for their review. Um, and once they're done making comments, we can uh, post it on, um, on the town website for anyone else who wants to make comments to us. And we can get back to um, Green Mountain Energy or Power. When? Um, April 23rd. April 23rd, so it's a quick turnaround. So we will give the Conservation Commission the um, stormwater folks this tomorrow and let them have it for uh, two weeks. Let us know. And we can post it on our website, tomorrow, I guess, for general. Yes. And let folks have two weeks to respond if they have any comments or questions that we can forward on to um, the folks at Green Mountain Power. Is that okay, Rebel? Yep. Yep. All right, that's easy enough then. Appointment. So, uh, via the town warrant, we were um, granted the authority as a board to appoint a tree warden, a fence viewer, parks, and rec. Now, in the past, these have been, I think, at least to a certain extent, one of the positions, or very as an honorary position, a fence viewer. Um, in the past, we've had taken nominations from the Florida town meeting. What I would suggest um, is that we put out a call uh, for interested parties or for nominations via the, the, the web, or we can post it to, like at the post office in here, uh, the library. Um, give folks, I don't know, what seems reasonable, two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks to uh, put their name forward or submit a name or film when they think is, is deserving. Um, we can also reach out, well, to at least to a couple of people. Some one of the folks is no longer with us, so. Um, but um, to the current folks that are hold it, see if there's any interest in there. Uh, but I think um, casting a, a wide net and uh, asking folks if they want to do it, much like we would have done, um, or they want to honor someone, like we would have done a town meeting, is an appropriate thing to do personally. Okay. Is there any objection to that? No. Nope. All right. So we won't. Let Tia know to put that out and we can post it around town? Yes. Awesome. All right, well, thank you for that. Uh, space needs and recreation. We have been holding off to these to make these appointments from the select board. Uh, I think we already appointed you to the budget committee. If we haven't, we yeah. will do, we'll do that tonight, too. <laughs> I think we held, held off because we wanted to see you actually really wanted to. We wanted to do it. We didn't want to just stick you with it if, if you weren't interested. But okay. If you are still interested in serving on the space needs and the rec budget, I'm, yeah, rather committees, as our ex officio, we'd love to, in the budget, we'd love to have you. I, I'm willing to do it. Okay, so Miles, you want to make a motion? Sure. Uh, I move we appoint um, Denise, Denise Knowles. Knowles. <laughs> Sorry. I have to go now. All right. No, I, <laughs> out of sight, I, out of mind. I forgot what you look like. Um, <laughs> as uh, the ex officio, I can do them all at once. Sure. Uh, all to uh, Budget Committee, Space Needs Committee, and the Recreation Committee. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. And um, Denise, I'm going to fill in for you um, this Wednesday on the budget committee. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we have? 
Certificate of Occupancy process. So Mr. Clark has brought to our attention that um, uh, much like the um, streamlining the process for uh, I don't want to talk about budget for, uh, building permits, and who's had to be in the U, right? Um, where it was in zoning, we had to change the zoning. In our zoning, it doesn't say that the select board has to issue the certificate of occupancy. All references have included the designee. Yeah. Or includes or designee. Uh, so um, Mr. Clark is suggesting that it would be a quicker process that it, he could sign them. I don't. We we rely on his expertise to go out and look at them anyway. It's great. Right. Exactly. We're not going out and looking at these houses. He is. I mean, it would be nice though to get a list um, monthly, I guess, of. Um, of, um, I would say, all the um, certificates of occupancy, and I would suggest the building permits, too, that are, that are issued. I think that would make sense, personally. Yeah, so we, we, we can review them and know, you know, obviously know what's going on. So. so I would like a motion, then, to allow Mr. Clark to start signing the certificate of occupancy. All right, I'll make a motion that we allow the building inspector, Tom Clark, to sign Certificate of Occupancy. All right. And I will second that. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So Mr. Clark can sign those. He's already signing them. It's just another spot that someone else has to sign. All right. How you high school? Uh, school facilities manager. I'm going to let the, the town administrator discuss this one. So you, you all have not yet drafted the charge for the... Um, newly compiled Space Needs Committee, which has not yet been fully formed. Um, but we know that regardless of that charge, that we need to get an assessment of this building, of what it needs, um, and what all those needs are going to cost. We know that the school has now a, their own CIP for their building, which was created by their facilities director, Dick Fortier. Um, so, I am looking to the board to see if you would care to delegate me to go to the next school board meeting and speak with the school board on your behalf, unless one of you would like to do that, and see if we can work out an arrangement by which we can utilize his expertise um, on this building. This is something that um, the chair of the school board has suggested in the past that he would be willing to come over and volunteer like an hour or two to come through and, and look like and it just never happened? It is something that they have discussed before and That's that they right. are willing to work out. It's just about what are the details of that arrangement. Right. Clearly they're not going to have like four weeks to come through. Right. But, but I remember them talking about it in concept at least before. So. Yeah, so it's not a new concept for either party. It's just about what are the terms of such an agreement sure. and how much time does he think it would that would take to do right. and like that. Right. And then I can bring that back to the board. Right. Um, we have to look. I'm sorry. No, we have to look into it because one way or the other, because we can't go forward with any projects until we know that what the building can do. And it's better to have someone who's already familiar with the town, I think, and the, and in the grade school as well. So I support at least contacting them. I mean, well. okay, good, good, good. And it's free. I, mean, I don't know that, okay. and we'll so, you know, we're not, the past, so, so we're not terms. agreeing to any kind of terms beyond free at this right. point. I don't know what the board, will, what the school board will say. It's just about approaching them with a conversation to see how workable they think it is, and does it right. have time, and would they be, you know, wanting some kind of compensation. I think it depends, I would expect, in how much time right. he expects it to take to assess the building. Right. Yep. That's fair. So he's in concept, assessing the building and coming up with estimates, or? My goal, the plan. At least my, my goal would be like a full assessment of what the deficiencies are and what the costs are per deficiency and best still, what would be the priority list if we were to make like a five year or a 10 year plan mm -hmm. for those things. Right. Much like he did for the school. So this way when we move, um, as the Space Needs Committee works through its process, mm -hmm. and that they get to a final resolution again, and, and they want to present a plan, all those questions that popped up at yeah. the, uh, the public hearing hopefully can be answered. And they can say, well, look, we've already looked at this. It makes absolutely no
no sense for us to do A, or it makes no sense for us to do B, we should be doing C or D, and then we have that information. So, I mean, I'm, I'm all in favor of you asking the questions. I have no problem with that whatsoever. We may not like the answers, but... No, but it starts with a conversation. I do we'll I see where it goes. remember the offering in the past, a couple years ago maybe, last year, it was... It, it was just in concept. Though, I think right? we've all so. kind of informally talked about it. It's just yeah. not been formally. Maybe I'm just remembering. But if you want to ask them, all right. You're okay with that? I'm okay with that. Great. Good luck. Are they meeting this week? Yeah. Um, they met last Thursday night. Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So they're, uh, I think, two. They're off cycle, so I think right. they're two. So it was out. last week. I was going to say, good luck with the first meeting back after the election. They had some things to discuss, I think. So. Mm -hmm. But I need to miss that, I guess. All right. Alrighty then. Uh, department head meetings. We have our first one this Friday. I have it. I have rather um, with the department heads. It's just a, a meeting between myself and the department heads, and I will report back. Um, uh, a public meeting. It's just a, a department meeting with um, the results of that conversation on uh, next Monday night for you all. Great. All right. I believe they're all coming. So. All right, policy review. I would suggest we table all three of them. If that's all right, unless someone has a burning desire to discuss any of these for tonight. Okay, have they been sent out? This? Is it in my email? What's that? These policies? Mm, or no, no. my right? What's that? No, we just start. Some things are, are something we're going to make. We, we want to review the existing policies and see where there are deficiencies or where there needs to be additions made. And it's made. Okay. The current. Okay. Can someone send me the, the electronic mail? I, I, I will. Know. I will reshare them with you, but you should be able to find them. Search them on the drive. Right. But I will share them okay. with you, so they're in your email. Oh, you don't have to do it. I'll, I'll go search if I need it. I'll call you to send them. Okay. So, so go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll attempt. Okay. okay. And, and it's not necessarily to need something. We're going to be taking everything up next week. It was. It was just, yep. We started a running tally because we knew there were deficiencies. Uh, in all three, probably yeah. less so in welfare because we just did those, but there may be. I mean, nothing is perfect for sure. So. No, but we need to start working on these for sure. All right. Thank um, you. You're very welcome. And speaking of welfare, um, we're going into non-public to deal with personnel at the very end of the meeting, but um, did we need to add welfare to that? No. We're all good with that. Okay. Already. Awesome. Town administration. Board member activities and updates. Miles, what do you got going on? Um, I can't tell you because I can't look at my phone. I don't think I have anything to say. Sorry. No, it's all right. Oh, that's right. It's done. Hey. Oh, well, we would have used my phone, but you know, I can't unlock it. So. Um, I don't have any. We, all right. Storm water is not. That was the week before. Yeah. All right. Well, yep. you're busy. You've been working. You're going to work on that. So, yes, yes, yes. All right. So I've got a um, uh, budget committee on Wednesday night, and um, the um, department has meeting on Friday. And I think, although I can't tell you because I can't look, I think there's a Stratford Regional Planning, maybe a TAC meeting, the, the Transportation whatever committee, I think also Friday, but I'm not sure. Like right after. I think I have to go to Rochester for that, but I can't tell you because I can't look at my phone. So. Also. Yes. Well, I went to a recreation. I have nothing. Well, you do. You, can, you, you need to recover and get better. I do, but I am. Good. Um, I met with recreation last week. Okay. And I just want to plant this seed with the select board. Um, the principal came, yeah. okay. and the committee had a nice conversation with the principal about um, what space was available for um, the summer, okay. and the gym is going to get its floor completely redone at oh. some point. Okay. They don't have a date for that yet. He's going to share the date when they have it, okay. but as soon as that's done, they're going to not have access to the gym for the rest of the summer. Okay. So they're going to be in the kindergarten and the corridors near the kindergarten. Um, okay. Some people on the committee are not completely comfortable with being limited just to that and not having right. a second space. Um, conversations will continue about that. Sure. Um, aside from that, he um, there was a lot of conversation about, aside from summer camp, making the school more accessible for recreation programs and okay. possibly having 
um, the recreation department take over intramurals. Um, and this is going to be, so the rec committee has a lot of great ideas and that's really exciting. All right. The school um, will not give out keys, though, unless there is a consistent, accountable person to give them to, right. which sense. is understandable, so we have to work that out. Yeah. But I just want to um, sort of let you know that the rec committee is going to... Um, we should be working on a, on a three- or five-year goal with them in hiring a part-time recreation director, some one point of contact for the school who can arrange activities, um, who can be accountable to the space there, okay. um, who can manage volunteers that would, you know, not that you'd have a staff doing intramurals, that can still be, you know, right. volunteer, but maybe some, you know, one part-time staff person perhaps that can help. Um, All right coordinate those activities and maybe other things like adult volleyball leagues and, you know, movies for seniors or, or what have Whatever. you. So there are a lot of ideas out there and, you know, like any other department, we should be working on a multi-year plan to get there. Okay. It was a good conversation. Thank you for that update. Mm -hmm. That would dry up our needs. Okay, so uh, what do we have in the folders? Let's see the folder work here. That is, um, the paper that Miles is looking at is an update from um, the five or so properties that are being represented by that one firm for um, an abatement, for right. 2017 abatements. Yeah. Um, BTLA requires that you try to mediate. Those right. papers affirm that they've tried to mediate and it's been unsuccessful. And so next step is BTLA. Okay. So those are just file Do we, need, we don't need to sign anything, though? You don't need to sign anything. It's just Perfect. a point of information. Okay. Is that it? That's all old stuff. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yep. That's new. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Perfect. And uh, we have three cemetery plots uh, deeds to uh, sign this evening. Denise, we'll have you sign them uh, when you come back. Okay. All right. Be, uh, so the first is, uh, for the record, uh, for the, how many lots is it? Four. So it's four um, uh, to, who is this two? The first is made up to, the lot name is under, uh, Cheese Man, C H E E S E M A N, Cheese Man. And it's for four plots, or four graves rather, in the amount of, what is it, down here somewhere? Uh, right in front of me, too. It's not. It's so just this. It's not the underlying amount in the parent of the no, it just says four grave lots in section E. What about the underlying amount above that? Yeah, it's not right. That's the name. Oh, all right. There is no name. Whatever. That's the name. Well, we'll get you to sign it. The next one is, last name is Wiggins, W-I-G-G-I-N-S, also for four. Sounds like you're calling a taste <coughs> restaurant. All right. <laughs> And we have a, a different plot for uh, for the cheese man's same spelling, um, also four, and that's all we have. And that's all we have in the uh, for folder work. Yeah, there, there are no building permits. Right, I have to take that off the agenda. Uh, anyways, um, all right, community input. Um, I just have a question I had asked last week about the CIP, and I was wondering if you were, had any further discussion no, on doing a committee. We have not had any discussion outside of the meeting. Um, let's add it to the agenda for the next week, though, to discuss it. Uh, what, uh, reforming the uh, CIP committee. We, 
we didn't have it on our, our it fell off of our list. Um, for uh, what? we're not doing a CIP committee, we're doing it as a board. Well, I don't think we ever decided that, so. Caroline? I'm not, that wasn't put to a vote that we, you all certainly discussed that, but I don't think it was ever really voted on. And so now there's conversation about whether or not um, the select board has the authority to do that because it is a planning document under the purview of the planning um, board by RSA. So we need to revisit the conversation and see what we can do. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something in writing uh, a couple, two, three weeks ago. Okay, sorry. Okay, so it's on the agenda okay. for next week. Then. Uh, anything else? Seeing none, we're going to go into non-public session for deal with a personnel issue. You're all more than welcome to come back, but I'm going home when it's done. So. Um, uh, I'll move this bill into non-public. Okay, I will second that. Uh, we'll do a roll call. Miles. Yes. Denise. Yes. Mike. Yes. We are in non-public session.